We understand that moving can sometimes be a challenge and even confusing when it comes to rental property. We have prepared this handy video in order to help you better understand the move-out process. You may remember some of this information from your move-in, but it's always helpful to have a small reminder. Before giving notice of your intent to move, please double check your lease to see when your lease ends. A lease is a binding agreement for a set period and you may still be bound to the lease. If you need to move and you are still committed to a lease period, contact your SCVL management team to discuss your options. Once you have confirmed your lease end date, you will need to give us written notice of your intent to vacate. Please go online to scvleasing.com, navigate to the Tenants Page tab, and select Tenant Downloads. You can deliver the completed notice in person by fax, mail, or even email. In order to protect your privacy, SCV Leasing does not provide rental history to other landlords or property management companies unless you have submitted a written notice to vacate and given us the authority to release your rental reference. Please let future landlords know that they should submit their written request for information by fax or email. Once again, this is to protect you. The next question you probably have is about a move-out inspection. In California, we are obligated to offer you a pre-move-out inspection. Information about our pre-move-out inspection process is in your lease and also in the notice to vacate, which you will sign. The pre-move-out inspection is your opportunity to review the property with your manager in order to assess what, if any, work you must do in order to receive the maximum refund of your security deposit. As a departing tenant, you are obligated to leave the property in a like or better condition than when you received the property. Therefore, if the property was professionally cleaned and the carpets were professionally cleaned at move-in, we would expect the same condition upon move-out. A complete list of items is provided along with the notice to vacate. But some items that you want to look for include having the property cleaned throughout the interior and the exterior. This includes vinyl or tile floors, windows inside and out, window sills and door casings, mini blinds, wiping out drawers and shelves, all appliances, sinks, toilets, bathtubs, showers, vanities, light fixtures, fireplaces, removal of cobwebs inside and out, and so forth. We understand that this is a pretty exhaustive list, but we did our best to do this for you when you moved in, so the landlord expects you to do the same when you move out. Also, make sure to remove all items of furniture, trash, and debris from the property. This would include picking up the yard after your pets. Carpet should be vacuumed and professionally cleaned. Please do not rent carpet cleaning machines, use home cleaning machines, or employ chemical cleaning companies. Only professional truck-mounted steam cleaning from a reputable company is accepted. Please keep and submit the receipt for our records. If we do not have the receipt, we have to assume the work was not performed. And if you had pets in the property, you are going to want to make sure the home was chemically deodorized and treated for fleas. Again, please keep and submit the receipt for our records. If we do not have the receipt, we have to assume the work was not performed. You will also want to replace any burned out light bulbs, non-working smoke detector batteries, missing door stops, and change the furnace filters. When it comes to painting, we request that you do not touch up paint unless you are sure the paint will match. You do not have to worry about filling small holes such as those left by picture hangers. Small picture hanger holes are considered normal wear and tear in California. But if you start patching and painting all those holes and leave a patchwork of mismatched paint throughout the home, that is not considered normal wear and tear. Your final question is probably, when will I get my security deposit back? When you follow the move out procedures and leave the property in good condition, it simplifies the task of refunding your security deposit. Once you have moved out and returned all your keys to our office, we will conduct our final move out inspection. Please do not turn off utilities until your lease end date. Even if you move out earlier, you are still responsible for the overall condition of the property until your lease ends. When it comes to returning security deposits, SCV leasing follows the California Civil Code 1950.5. All unused funds must be returned to you within 21 days. But when you leave the property in good condition, we can usually make that time much quicker. Please make sure our office has your forwarding address. One final thought. If you have been paying your rent through an automatic deduction through your bank, such as by automatic checks or other ACH deduction, you may want to cancel that payment. We hope this video has helped you better understand the move-out process. SCV Leasing wants to make your move-out a successful experience. Remember, the better you leave the property, the quicker we can get your refund back into your account.